Hey guys, it's Phil from Dupe, your partners in print. We're just here looking at the Epson Shorelab D500. We are looking specifically at some of the buttons, what they do. So on the front here, we can see we've got our main power button. We've got a home button. We've got our arrows. We've got a back button. Okay. And we've got a cancel. If you start printing and it's not what you think because you've printed on the wrong finish, you printed the wrong image, you can cancel that. What we don't have on here is a paper rewind button. Remember on the D500, we're not using roll. Apart from that, this menu is very, very similar to the Epsom Shorelab D1000s. So if I click on settings, we've got printer status. I can click on there. We've got supply status, messaging list, firmware version. When Epson or any manufacturer launches a new product, there may be little bugs that they can fix on the firmware. So always check in certainly the first six months, is there any firmware updates? Also on there, we've got the paper setting, paper size and paper type. Now three and a half by five inch just isn't a paper size in our country, um, but it is in other countries. So it is on there for the customers. Paper type, luster, glossy, matte, and different weights is from 250 down to 190. So if you've got a thinner paper, we need to also adjust the platen gap. That's the gap between the print head and the paper. So by changing the weight lower or heavier, you should also adjust the weight on here because it can affect the quality. Also on here, there's the maintenance. So we can do nozzle checks, pattern checks. If there's a problem with the quality of the print, your engineer might ask you to do a power clean or a nozzle check or a print pattern and we're looking for certain things within there printer setup in here we've got everything from the networking through to wi-fi setup print counter often handy if you want to see how many prints you've actually produced security settings you can set up a password to stop people using it and we've got restore to default factory setting check out the other videos within the d500 range cheers thanks very much